So I'm going to demonstrate the RDF IO extension for Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the RDF import and the Sparkle endpoint functionality. Uh, I can show first that we have a very empty wiki, just a demo page here. So we go to RDF import and we have some RDF, example RDF here already. We have a subject and the data for it. And we can also look at the title here. It will be used when we import it will be used as the title for the subject. So now pages are created for the subject, for all the properties and for some of the values. So that's why it takes some time right now. Uh, oops, recent changes. Let's go there and find out the subject the page for the subject with the long title and here we have it. Yep. A lot of things have been created and we can check here also that new things have uh, appeared. Yeah. And uh, here we see that a lot of pages are created. It would have been red links if these pages were not created. And we see also that this there's the original URI is stored for each page. And the same applies for properties and for some of the values. Let's go to the Sparkle endpoint then. So we can of course do some simple querying for triples. One of the things we see here is that MediaWiki uses a special URI resolver base URL to, to reference its articles. And if we want we can, we can with this extension we can convert to those so that we have we need to remove this one so that we see the original URIs instead of all these URI resolve URI URIs at least for some pages uh, yes indeed so let's do something more uh, funny let's uh, let's uh, edit the page that we looked at before we will insert into an empty graph this feature is not used now as oh, we just make something up yeah. like this and we need to click those and there we go let's take this one and let's see we have has author Samuel there. So let's see if we can do the, the opposite thing, if we can delete that one. Okay, yep. So let's see. Yep, I think it's disappeared. So just to show you the, the screen again. Thanks for watching.